Hello Dorio, I'm Mayor Buna Lozano, and I would like to share some updates regarding the COVID-19 pandemic. I would like to first thank Governor Abbott and his team for sending additional military support from the Navy to provide assistance for our medical groups here in Del Rio, Texas. I would also like to thank Senator Flores and his team for helping us reach the STRAC team to send additional information from other agencies to provide additional nursing staff and support. I would like to thank Congressman Will Hurd and his team for providing updates regarding the pandemic and every tool that we can use in our toolbox for this pandemic. I would also like to extend an extreme thanks to Senator Cornyn and Senator Cruz's office for continuing to relay important information from federal sources, including CARES Fund information and other information that has been provided to all state and local agencies. I would like to especially thank our consultant teams in Washington, D.C. and in Austin for providing additional information regarding these updates and how that impacts the local area. Del Rio, now is the time to come together as one unit during this pandemic. At a time that medical groups are being overwhelmed due to the rise in patients at our local hospital, we must do our part to help mitigate the spread of COVID-19. The message has been clear and consistent. We need to stay home, limit our exposure. We need to wear masks, wash our hands, monitor our symptoms. If you are experiencing any symptoms regarding COVID-19, call ahead and make sure that you're properly screened so that the medical groups can welcome you for screening at their local agencies. The city has taken the active approach to pass along COVID-19 related information through our media post that's monitored by Public Relations and the Emergency Management Coordinator's Office. This information is updated daily to the best of their ability. The information includes active cases, recovered cases, and deaths. This information is obtained from various medical groups and sources, including state agencies. It is of utmost importance that we protect the privacy of our patients that are tested positive. HIPAA is of utmost importance, and the privacy of each individual in our community is something that I continuously support and advocate for. Sharing information that is not vetted from social media posts is something that I do not advocate for. The information that I receive comes from the local health authority, Dr. Gutierrez, for medical groups here at our Valverde Regional Medical Center, STAT, and United Medical Centers throughout the community. It is important that the information is properly vetted before it's relayed to the, to the community. Social media is a great tool to pass along information, but we need to ensure that the information that's being transmitted is properly vetted so that there's no confusion within our community. I have chosen to limit the amount of time that I spend on social media so that way the information that is gathered is properly vetted. Each municipality and county has a different approach to how they relay information. If you have any questions regarding cases, whether active or recovered, I highly recommend that you contact the Emergency Operations Center that can be reached at 775-2313. Again, that number is 775-2313. You can also dial the Emergency Operations Center number and relay any information that you may see of violations of any orders that have been implemented per the governor, city, or county. The City of Del Rio continues to provide additional services to our community. If there are additional medical needs that you need to be fulfilled, such as pharmaceutical runs, groceries, or other medical services that are provided while you're at home during the stay-at-home orders under quarantine, please call 775-2313 and provide your information so that somebody can assist you. While you're on the line, you can also ask about medical services that the different agencies in our community provide to those under quarantine orders. Del Rio, at a time that the COVID-19 pandemic is affecting our entire community, it is of utmost importance that we are together because together we are stronger. Regardless of how any elected official, medical group approaches different information, that information needs to be properly vetted and passed along to our community. We must ensure that continuity of government prevails. The city of Del Rio has continued its full operation we have limited hours of operation that you can physically enter any of our municipal buildings. However, that limitation does not mean that the city does not continue to operate at full functionality. The city has continuously provided assistance to the WIC organization and elderly programs in our community. We are continuing to fully function and provide law enforcement assistance to anybody that dials 911. 
the fire and rescue teams are out there providing assistance as needed. The City of Del Rio is dedicated to providing assistance that our medical groups need here in Del Rio, Texas. That information is gathered directly from Dr. Gutierrez, the local health authority, nurses from Valverde Regional Medical Center, United Medical Center, and staff. The information that I provide to the city may be hard to swallow. I understand that we are overwhelmed with emotion regarding COVID-19 and the pandemic that has engulfed our community. However, that information is real. The city is doing the best that it can to provide the information as accurate as possible. Del Rio, myself and the City Council continuously get updates at regular City Council meetings and special City Council meetings that are pertinent to COVID-19 pandemic. We are updated to the best of our medical staff ability and the Emergency Response co Coordinator has done the best that he possibly can with the information provided. The City Council does provide assistance to our local City needs. The City Council also does its best as we try to keep up with the pandemic's ever-evolving circumstances. The City Council, and myself included, are unified in protecting the city to the best of our ability. This is why the City Council has passed limitations at San Felipe Creek and the park accessibility to the waterways. I highly recommend that if you choose to travel beyond the borders of City of Del Rio and Valverde County, that you check in with local resources and local ordinances that may affect your travel. It is my understanding that mayors along the Gulf Coast are limiting the amount of time that you can spend at beaches. It is also my understanding that Governor Abbott has placed strict restrictions on water access and the activities that you can conduct while on waterways. The National Park Service continues to update the restrictions at our local Amistad National Recreation Area. If you are traveling into Ciudad Acuña, continue to update yourself on Ciudad Acuña restrictions entering Ciudad Acuña. All of these efforts are unified and we are getting the guidance from medical staff. The local health authority does support the request to stay at home to the best of your ability. That request provides some guidance. You are welcome to jog and run and bike at any of our trails that are continuing to be open. That is allowing for social distancing. The request is to ask of you not to mix households. If you do need to go shopping, designate one person in your household if you have to go in person. If you have online options, shop online, have delivery services, provide those services from HEB or Walmart or other local areas to your doors. There are multiple restaurants that are providing online services as well. Some even deliver to your home. Call ahead and support local merchants that are providing those services. Together, we are stronger.